This is a, an excellent pattern. Uh, so, pattern basically is not fixed as much as it used to, and it should be because it does work extremely well. Now, the, the hook I'm going to be tying it on, this is a size 12 loop double. It's a very strong double. Uh, if you need a really good strong hook, this is the one to buy. The thread I'm using is the Uni 8 in black. Now we start at just below the eye, about a mil and a half or so. And then come down about halfway. And you catch in some, this is a, a small oval gold tinsel. You want that the full length of the body. And then walk your way down. Till Really, once the thread, once you let the thread go, it should be between the point and the bar of the hook. And you form a small tag by winding down about four turns, bringing the tinsel between the hooks. Now, I like to separate the tag from the rib. Just bring it underneath, take it up the full length of the body, and fold it back. Maybe it looks like a bit of a waste, it maybe is, but it's for the way I like to tie, it's the way I've always done it. Now I'm going to use some polar fibre for the tail in yellow. You want a good, you want a stiff fibre. This is a stiff fibre so it helps to stop the fox dropping below the hook. You could use bucktail, you could use whatever you like. Uh, it still, will still do the same thing. Trim away the excess. Make sure you wax on your thread. Tie it down. Now in the brown turkey, the original brown turkey in this case is three colours. We've got yellow, red and black. Now I'm just using some of the under from under fur from the fox. In this case the yellow fox, dyed yellow. It's a great dubbing. Now I'll mix this with seals fur as well, what's Really nice. You see how well really and easy it is to go in. And then get some red. Again, the fox fur. So when you're winding your wing on, don't throw away the, the under fur when you clean it. Keep it as a nice dubbing. And then get some black. Nice and tight. Just give yourself plenty of room, don't be going too close towards the eye. Take away the excess. Again, make sure you're waxing your thread at this point, especially when you're going to be tying off. And then you bring your rib up through. Looking about four to five turns or so. Just bring it up beside the thread, nice 90 degree bend into it, and then trap it down. Trim away the excess. And then tidy up. And make sure you wax on your thread. Now for the wing we're using, as I say, the Arctic Fox. Now we've got a couple of colours I'm going to use. In this case I've got, say, a ginger and a dark brown. Now these, these bits here are from the bottom of the tail, so they're slightly shorter than the fibre, but they're, they're actually much stronger, I feel. Ideal for the wing. Now to help you tie the wing on and save a wee bit of bulk, this is how I do it. So this is the underwing. The lighter colour is the underwing. Now I take a few fibres off, trim it close to the skin, then remove any twisted fur at the bottom. Now you want these fibres just to come towards the end of the tail and tie it in. One, two, three, just to hold it. Trim away the excess. At this point, make sure you wax your thread. Down, then come back up. Now I'm going to put a wee bit of flash. In this case, I've got gold crystal flash. And about four strands or so. And one that towards the end of the tail, catch it on to three turns, down the way, 
fold it back, keep a hold of that and then trim away the excess. We crease it in the top to lower it a wee bit. Just check and see if everything's thin. Now, you'll always find that you think that you've overdressed a fly, especially using fox. Uh, you've got to remember it reduces a good bit, but it swims extremely well in the water. So Then, for the hackle, this is a dyed black hen. This is just a Chinese. You tie it in by the tip. Catch you on the side, two or three turns down, fold it back, two or three turns. And trim away the point. And then draw back the fibres and wind. We can probably, I mean a hen hackle, two or three turns anyway. That's fine. 90 degree bend into the stem. Two or three turns to hold it. Trim away the excess. Wax on, and then tie it on, making sure it's well tied down. Just see how the hackle's sitting. It's looking okay, yep. Then get your, again, your Arctic Fox, dyed brown. It's right chestnut, strong brown, or mahogany as you might say. And you want that slightly longer than the tail, so you've got that nice taper. Tie it on. Now I've waxed the thread, so it's important that you do that. And tighten up. See how it's sitting. Here we are. And that there's your Foxford version of the year. Uh, Brown turkey. You could add, put jungle cock on it if you want. I'm just going to do that. I'm just going to add two small eyes. But I like to put them both on at the same time. So just clear the area where I want to tie in. Get the eyes beside the, the head. Two or three turns. So look. It's looking okay. Thread down. In this case I can go right to the, the hook, fold it back because the stems are quite fine. And then come back up. Now it's important that you wax the thread. Just I'm gonna go back a couple of turns because it just starts to slip. This is where your wax comes in and helps to get the grip. I feel it's going to slip up a wee bit and then come back down. Always keep, keep it nice and tight. Break away the stems if you want and then come in and let it finish. There you go. Now to varnish, what I like to do is, but my first layer has got is super glue and then I put two coats of varnish after that. Now what the super glue does, it seals the turns, takes away or fills in all the grooves the thread makes. And you just lightly put it all the way around. This is Loctite super glue. Now, I only keep it for so long. Maybe a month at the most, and that's at the most. And then I replace it because it goes off, it goes out of date. There you go. Then you get what they call blooming. Oh, it goes white. It's basically it's taking longer to act or to dry. And the activator for super glue is moisture. So the longer it takes to dry, the more moisture it'll take and the whiter it'll come. So if it's fresh, it dries extremely quick. Now within ten minutes, whatever, you could varnish that. Now I'll varnish it just now. It doesn't make any difference to it really. Other than that it's I mean it's not dry but It'll still dry okay. This is just normal vineyard varnish, but I've got it in a nail varnish bottle. So I can apply the varnish with a brush. Let's go all the way around. There you go. Now, 
that there is good enough. You could, I mean, I will give it another coat of varnish, like, but you don't really need it now, it's plenty. And you've got a nice shiny head. And there you go. And that's a slight variant of the traditional brown turkey. And a uh, great pattern, nice colour in the water. Certainly worth a place in anyone's fly box. And good fun to tie. Thank you.